Hey, I'm Kastutis and in this video, I will explain how you can create a successful online course in just six easy steps. The first step in creating your online course is to think about the topic you want to cover. The perfect scenario is choosing a topic that balances passion, expertise and market demand. Having a topic you enjoy talking about will help you keep going in the process and deliver genuine enthusiasm, getting other people excited about it too. Being a credible source is super important, but you don't have to own a degree or certificates for that. You could have just worked in the industry for years, gaining practical knowledge and skills on the subject. Your course doesn't have to be related to the creative or business field. You can share your own zero to hero personal journey, such as dealing with the fear of public speaking or becoming a professional in the web development field. If you already have an audience, see if there are any repetitive questions or comments. This can indicate what people want to learn from you. After identifying what you're passionate and knowledgeable about, check the market demand for the topic. This will inform you whether people are searching for the topic and if you can make money from it. One simple way to check the topic's popularity is by using a keyword research tool, like Google Keyword Planner. It'll give you an estimate of how many people look for the topic on Google. I also recommend using Google Trends to see if the interest in the topic is increasing or decreasing over time. Google Trends is also helpful for finding a perfect launch date for your course. For example, goal setting is usually a hot topic from late December to the beginning of January. So, launching your goal setting course in June might not bring the best results. Now you know how to find the perfect topic, based on your passion, expertise and how demandable it is. The next step is to conduct customer research. This helps identify your target audience and actually understand their goals and pain points. For example, your course content would be different whether you thought website design for college students wanting to make a portfolio or small business owners wanting to build an online store. Remember that if you try to sell to everyone, you may end up selling to no one. Before you start making a course plan, research the topic extensively, from books to competitors' webinars and classes. Perform keyword research and browse community platforms like Reddit to find questions related to the topic. It will help you better understand what your audience might be interested in and how to provide additional value for them. Once you have that information, it's time to make a curriculum for your online course. First, determine the learning outcomes by completing this statement. By the end of this course, students will be able to blank. For example, by the end of this course, students will be able to design an appealing online portfolio. Setting a goal will help you set a measurable course plan. Also, remember that it's essential to guide your audience step by step during the course. So, the plan should follow a logical order to ensure a smooth learning process. Write down a list of lessons and, if necessary, break them down into subtopics. Let's take a look at this example a course outline for how to create a digital portfolio. It has the course's title, learning objective, and five modules, divided into several subtopics. Here's a great tip to make your course even more appealing and valuable. Add a bonus lesson to share your personal experience with the topic. It might be what makes someone choose your course instead of a competitor. Now that we have a structured course outline, let's think about the best content format to deliver it. Video lessons are a great way to portray ideas effectively. Walkthroughs are ideal for showing step-by-step -step processes. Text works best when explaining concepts in detail and linking to other resources. Downloadable materials like worksheets and templates can help students apply what they've learned. So. As you can see, the best content format will depend on your topic and the type of your course. For example, if you offer an affordable mini gardening course, an email series with printable materials and some images is a good option. But email series like that won't be suitable for a yoga course. Most yoga instructors use videos as they engage several senses, helping students learn faster. 
If you're uncomfortable being in front of a camera, it's absolutely fine to not do that at all. You can simply record your screen or go through slides with images and animations. Another advantage of this method is that it makes video production and editing much easier. But again, it depends on your topic. I recommend mixing different course formats. You'll gain the benefits of each of them and keep your students engaged. The next step to create your online course is the production phase. If you decided to show yourself on camera, prepare a script or outline to organize your thoughts and deliver the message clearly. Then set the camera, background and lighting. Do you have a large budget? If so, consider renting a studio to make your content look professional. If not, using a camera or a smartphone with good lighting at home is absolutely fine. If you're going to use slides, start creating the presentation and recording your screen. One of the best free screen recorders is OBS Studio, a tool available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Then you can record your voice together with the screen recording or do it separately. Whatever you prefer, consider investing in an external microphone to get the best audio quality. Once you finish recording, in addition to cutting the necessary clips, adding logos, text and images is a great practice to make your video lessons more attractive. Filmora is one of the best video editing programs for beginners. With less than $20 per month, you get great editing features and access to over 100,000 creative assets, like titles, animations, and filters. For Apple users, you can download iMovie, a free macOS video editor. The next step is to decide where you want to host your online course. There is a wide range of course platforms with unique features. So I'm going to explain the pros and cons of the four top options. The first one is Udemy. Udemy is a great platform for your first online course because it makes the overall process from creation to the marketing stage quite easy. It has various features to help you offer an engaging online course, such as quizzes, coding exercises, and discussion sections. If you're unsure of your video quality, its instructor support team is ready to review your test videos and give you feedback. You also don't need to worry about making your first few sales. Udemy has optional marketing programs to promote your course, including getting featured in their email blasts and being a part of site-wide discounts. There's no upfront cost to launch a course on Udemy. The platform will charge 3% of your revenue if students purchase content using your coupon or referral link. But if they use another purchasing method, like going directly to Udemy's marketplace or clicking on its ads, it will charge 63% of your revenue. The main drawback is that Udemy has strict rules for personal promotion, making it hard for users to build their personal branding. If you would like more freedom over your course branding, the next option is YouTube. The main benefit is that publishing videos on this platform is free. There are various ways to monetize your videos. Turning on ads is one of the most common methods, but the earnings won't be that great. So consider setting up channel memberships and giving the subscribers access to exclusive content, badges, and the live chat feature. You can also encourage viewers to buy additional materials to help them understand the online course better. Recently, YouTube also introduced Super Thanks, allowing creators to receive donations from their viewers. The major downside is the competition. YouTube is loaded with millions of videos in every niche. It may take several months to grow a subscriber list and start earning money. If your courses are about Web3, crypto, or blockchain technologies, then BitDegree is another platform to consider. BitDegree is an online teaching platform focused on digital computing skills, such as web and blockchain development, NFT, and crypto trading. From the student's perspective, this platform has a unique system. It rewards them with a token after completing a session, which they can use to fund the next course. For instructors, BitDegree offers a personal assistant, help with course descriptions, and feedback about the course. You also get 99% of your online course revenue. But if you want complete control over your course and platform, opt in for having it on your own website. 
the branding and content format will be up to you. There also won't be revenue share, so you can have all the profits yourself. But to build a website, you're going to need hosting. Visit Hostinger to find what plans are available. I recommend Business WordPress because it comes with unlimited bandwidth and 200 gigabytes of SSD storage. Perfect for any course format. Don't forget to use the coupon code HE10 to get 10% off on your purchase. The plan also includes a free domain name, which you can use for your new website. For a more detailed guide, check our video on how to make a website. Once the website is set up, you'll need a learning management system plugin. An LMS plugin will help you manage the courses, create and grade quizzes, accept payments, and more. There are many LMS plugins available, but I recommend Lifter LMS. It has an easy-to-use course builder, discussion areas, and various payment integrations. You can also engage with your students by providing private coaching certificates and personalized emails. Since the plugin's free version already has a great set of tools for course creation, many users only install payment extensions. But if you prioritize getting customer support and add-ons, Lifter's premium version starts at $149 per year. Now that your online course is ready, it's time to set a price. To better understand how you should price your online course, research your competitor's prices. It'll help you avoid charging too much or too little. Next, create a sales page describing the course, including its benefits, learning outcomes, pricing details, and your bio. After that, plan your marketing strategies. You can start by giving early bird discounts and using paid ads. Another great idea is to host a free webinar on the topic and offer the participants a discount to purchase the course. If you use a third-party platform like Udemy or Bidegree, check whether you can use their promotion packages. And that's how to create an online course in six steps. While building an online course seems daunting, it's by no means impossible. Following the right steps and using the right tools, you can make an online course to share your knowledge and generate an income. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online course journey.